so how to calculate h12 h12 if you want to calculate then make this term zero which is possible when you make this current i1 zero that means h12 is equal to v1 by v2 under the condition when i1 is equal to zero right so i1 is zero means when i1 stands for input parameter input quantity that means when you make input open i1 current zero means you have to make input zero so here what is the name of this it is known as reverse reverse voltage it's a ratio of voltage v1 by 2 v1 by v2 so write reverse voltage ratio reverse voltage ratio right under the condition when input input is open right that means when i1 0 right let me denote this parameter by h r right h r right it's a ratio of v1 by v2 right input by uh, output right input voltage by output voltage that's why we call it as a reverse and i2 by i1 for h21 it was output by input ratio that's why i that's why we have called it forward but here it is a ratio of input by output input voltage by output voltage that's why it is known as reverse right reverse parameter reverse voltage ratio so let me denote by h suffix r r stands for reverse tell me what is the unit there is no unit because it's a ratio of voltage that means no, no unit ratio has no unit right similarly tell me what is h22 if you want to calculate h22 then you have to make this term zero that means under the condition i1 zero ratio of i2 by v2 ratio of i2 by v2 under the condition of i1 is equal to zero this is known as output tell me i by v current by voltage it is admittance so what is the name output admittance output output admittance right under the condition when input i1 0 means input input parameter is current i1 input open right input open so let me denote this parameter by h suffix o o stands for output right what is the unit of admittance unit is more right am i clear now see here i have calculated all the parameters input impedance output admittance forward current ratio and reverse voltage ratio right right now see here so while considering the behavior of a transistor in terms of h parameter the following points must be remembered while considering the behavior of transistor in terms of h parameter you should remember the following points you know that why we use h parameter model why we use we use h parameter model for simplicity in calculations right for ease of calculation we use h parameter and whenever you are using h parameter model for calculation of above set parameters input impedance output admittance right etc etc when you want to calculate using h parameter you have to remember these points now point number 1 see here the voltage of the sorry the value of h parameter of transistor will depend on transistor connections right that means common ammeter or common base or common collector right so these three are the configuration of the transistor now so h parameter for different connections are abbreviated in different ways right depending on the connection you will abbreviate these above set parameter accordingly for example h11 is represented as hie comma h i b and h i c respectively for common ammeter comma common base and common collector configurations you understand see here h i e you know what is h i i told you what is h i see here h i is input impedance now input impedance h i if you want to write it 
if you want to write it for common emitter configuration then how to write you have to make another suffix e apart from i you should also write another suffix e small e h i e e stand for common emitter configuration right similarly if you write the same input impedance h i parameter for common base then you have to write h i b small b small b stand for common base configuration right similarly if you write input impedance h i for common collector configuration then how you represent it for that you have to write h i c c represents for common collector configuration right so h i e is input impedance for common emitter configuration of transistor h i e h i b is input impedance for common base configuration of transistor similarly h i c is input impedance for common collector configuration of transistors so depending on transistor configuration you have to represent these above said symbols right now second while checking the performance ac output resistance is considered as load resistances right that means load resistance rl is rac that is ac resistance is equal to is a parallel combination of rc and rl rc is a collector resistance rl is a load resistance so when you treat them parallel then you should write parallel combination rc rl divided by rc plus rl that is a parallel combination of two resistance right now the values of h parameter depends on the q point q point is operating point right that is ic comma vc for com common emitter configuration right so the values of h parameter depends on the q point full stop if q point changes comma the values of h parameter are also changed right if you change operating point value of h parameter will also change now next point point number 4 in transistor circuits the values of voltage and currents are taken depending on transistor configuration for example common emitter configuration v for common emitter v1 is vbe input voltage v1 is base emitter voltage that's why i have written vbe i1 is base current that is input current i1 is equal to base current you know for common emitter input current is base current so i1 would be ib i base right v2 that means output voltage will be collected to emitter voltage for common emitter similarly i2 i2 is output current that means collector current i2 is collector current for common emitter right here vbe comma vc ib ic are the rms values remember rms is root mean square values and not the peak right or average value since we uh, these are uh, these are rms values right now the nomenclature used for h parameter of a transistor so that means the nomenclature used for h parameter of a transistor depending on its connection common base common emitter common collector is given as c in this column i have written h parameter h11 h12 h21 h22 these are the parameters for the common emitter configuration these are the symbols of parameters for common base configuration and these are the parameter for common collector configuration so h11 i told you h11 is input impedance so it is represented by h i e for common emitter h12 is h12 i told you this is the reverse voltage ratio so hr is a notation for 